Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so I'm going to be doing my 23 week ish update. So I'm just going to recap everything from the last pregnancy update I did to now, which is two, three weeks, I want to say. So I'll be 24 weeks in a couple days on Friday. I'll be 24 weeks. And so let's just get into it. I'm also going to be showing some clothes that I got for her. So kind of a little mini haul, but we'll do that at the end. All right, let's get into it. So one of the first things that has definitely changed since my last update was my back pain is not as debilitating as it was. So a few weeks ago, it was to the point where I couldn't really lift my son. I couldn't do really a lot of anything, but now I'm to a point where like we just installed some French doors, which y'all will see neither the next video or the video after that. Some footage of us doing that. And I helped a lot. I was helping lift things and do things. And I mean, those doors, you know, I was helping kind of hold them in place as we were putting in the hinges and stuff. And I mean, they're a couple hundred pound doors. So I'm pretty, pretty proud of myself with that. Also the fact that I couldn't even do that with Isaac. Like I literally had to quit my job as a waitress because I could no longer like lift the trays anymore but that's been a really nice change but kind of in place of the back pain I now have I want to call it restless leg syndrome is what I think it is but going to sleep is a it's a struggle in the fact that it takes me forever when I do fall asleep, I wake up every half hour to move and adjust. And also with the sleep, the other day we were, we had all our furniture out in the living room because we were getting, we were getting our bedroom carpets shampooed the next day. And so we moved all the furniture out of there and we decided to put the mattress in the living room and kind of do like living room camping is what I called it. And so we went to bed that night and it literally felt like there was a brick sitting on my chest. It was so painful. It hurt to breathe. It hurt to move. And the only way I could alleviate it was by laying on my left side, which is what they tell you to do. You know, if you want to get the baby to move, lay on your left side. If your blood pressure is high, lay on your left side. Like, that's just what they tell you to do. But what sucked is the only way I was comfortable was on my right side but then the chest pain would kick in. So I had to do this weird like half of my body on the right, half of my body on the left to get any sort of sleep. But it definitely was a little scary, but it has gone away since yesterday. So hopefully that was just a little pregnancy fluke type of thing and that it, I hope it doesn't continue. But then as far as she goes, I don't have another appointment until mid-May and I don't know if I'll be going in person or not due to everything going on um, but she is now not just like jabbing and poking at me she's like full-on squirming and doing somersaults and doing everything you could think of in there and it is my absolute favorite thing in the world I love feeling her that's the best part about pregnancy is feeling them and like knowing they're there because it's like for you know the first half of your pregnancy you're pregnant but like me sometimes I like would forget because you don't either look pregnant or you don't have the movement of them and so you don't really feel as pregnant as you are but that's been a nice little change as far as food goes, foods are all the same. No new food aversions of any sort. Um, my mood is definitely, can still be a little crazy with the hormones and all that. I go from a good mood to a bad mood pretty quickly or certain things will affect my mood. Um, like the vacuum cleaner the other day was not working the way I wanted it to and it, it just ruined my night and it's like, it's a vacuum cleaner, it's not that big of a deal, you know what I mean? And so, that was hard. 
And sorry if y'all hear any weird background noise. My dogs are on the other side of the camera doing their thing. And so if you hear any weird movements on a couch, that is what they're doing. I'm filming in my living room just because our bed isn't made and I wasn't going to film in front of a mattress. So, but so far the past few weeks of pregnancy have definitely not been nearly as bad as previous ones or probably future ones <laughs> as I get bigger. But hopefully as time goes on it does not get any worse. <laughs> But I know the uncomfortable pains and the sleeping struggles do continue throughout pregnancy. I experienced it with my son. But we will see how this pregnancy continues. Hopefully I'll have some more news once I do have that next appointment, which I think is when I'll do my next pregnancy update. But that's kind of it. It's pretty simple, pretty lame, kind of. Like, <laughs> she's moving and you hurt because you're pregnant. That's... The majority of the story but now I'm gonna get into a couple things that I've bought so one of our friends had a little girl about a year and a half ago probably and they donated a lot of her stuff that she doesn't wear to me so we have that in our office closet until we get like her room situated but I went ahead and went on Carter's and did a pretty big order because they had a pretty big sale so hopefully everything that I've gotten either bought or what our friends given us will get her through her first like six months I want to say but I really love really cute clothes you know like the bougie type little girl clothes I'm obsessed with but I don't want to purchase a lot of them until she's older when she's like walking because one I think they'll be cuter when she can walk and show them off and two I don't want to like buy these really really nice outfits when she's a newborn just for her to grow out of them like two days later because now Isaac he's been tiny his entire life he was in like size three to six months for like eight months of his life it was ridiculous but as far as I can tell she's gonna be a pretty big baby somewhere between eight and nine pounds I wanna say and so something tells me she might go through clothes a lot quicker than her older brother but let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I got was a five pack of onesies and they're just, you know, your simple little onesies and these are in newborn size. And so it comes with a little like lavender one with some polka dots, one with some hearts, a green one with some polka dots or teal, whatever you want to call it some little flowers and then like a plaid lavender and the reason I got these in newborn is because she will be born as early as July but as late as like September 1st somewhere in August she'll probably be born and so where we live here up in the panhandle of Texas it can stay warm Honestly, kind of forever. Like this past year, we didn't really have that bad of a winter. I was wearing my summer clothes through like early December. And so it could be very warm. And so I don't want to purchase a lot of winter things until I know that she's going to need them. But I thought these were cute little springy, summery colors. And onesies are always just easy and nice to have. I definitely am not... A huge onesie fan in general like Isaac I prefer to put him in like a full shirt and pants and shoes and, like an actual outfit but when they're little onesies are great they're nice and easy they, it gets them clothed and you don't really have to think about it the next thing I got is a size nine month and so when she's nine months it'll be the beginning of summer next year and so like spring and summer and so it's a cute little outfit Isaac learned how to walk at nine months so I'm hoping she might be the same and she can start showing off some cute outfits but this one's super cute so it's a little pair of shorts just some blue and white striped shorts with a little bit of like ruffling or rouging or whatever you want to call it and then it came with this really cute 
little shirt with some flowers on it. And so that'll be a super cute little outfit for her. I'm very, very excited to start putting her in these cuter type outfits. And, you know, back in the day I never said I would have a girl, but here we are and I'm very, very excited. Okay, the next thing I got is her Christmas outfit. And I'm very into holiday outfits. You will see that as time goes on. I might even later show y'all some old things of Isaac. I'm very big into their first holidays, dressing them up, having them be really just over the top for holidays, but that's how I am. I'm over the top with everything, with birthdays, holidays, the whole nine yards. And so I didn't want to get her anything crazy fancy because she'll only be a few months old, but I wanted her to have something comfy and nice for church or whatever we end up doing. So first it's just these little pair of pants and they're just like black and white, like checkerboard. And then it's this just this cute little red sweater with these little cuffs, but on the cuffs is a little like kitten face, which I think is super cute. And it just buttons in the back at the neck. And so I think that'll be super cute for her. It's super soft. And so that way her little body isn't like uncomfortable because Isaac, I put him in, you know, very nice button-ups and bow ties and everything for holidays now, and they can be uncomfortable, but because she'll be so little, I don't want to make it too bad on her. Okay, one of the, I only bought a couple winter things for this upcoming winter, because she'll only be a few months old, but we definitely are the type, the worse the weather, the more we go out. When it's pouring rain, we want to go do something. When it's snowing and they say not to get on the road we want to go do something we're just those kind of people so I wanted to get her just a couple jackets and so I got this one it's a little pink jacket has little ears on it and it just buttons up but it's like a a knitted material and so it's pretty thick but it's also thin enough where like a breeze would go by it would keep her cool so kind of like a fall winter coat the next thing I got, or a couple things, I got a couple sets where it's like one pair of pants but two onesies go with it kind of a thing. And so the pants for this are just like a almost red but also pinky color with white stripes with a little ladybug on the butt which I think is super cute. The outfit that we bought for her gender reveal was a ladybug outfit and so I think Ladybugs are going to be a pretty big staple. And then it comes with a little onesie that says Auntie's Little Lady. My Aunt Pam, so it would be her great aunt, um, is definitely obsessed with all the babies that I have. And so we need something with Auntie and also her actual Auntie, um, her Aunt Patty, but she'll call her Tia, um, is obsessed with my children too. And so we had to get something with Auntie on it. And then there's a long sleeve one, which is super nice, that just says love bug on it and has little ladybugs everywhere. And this one I got, and I believe is three months. So hopefully she doesn't outgrow these too fast. All right, the next one I got is a little outfit set like that, but it's newborn, just something easy and cute, little matching set. So it is these little floral pants with the little like bear type thing on the butt which is super super cute and then the tops is a little onesie that says I love bear hugs from daddy because I'm definitely going to be all about the fact that she's going to be daddy's little girl and I know Isaiah is going to be wrapped around her little finger the second she comes out and then the long sleeve one that came with it is you make me so happy it's just this little pink little onesie pretty simple but Definitely nice. I love having things that match. Alright, a couple of cuter things that I got. So this is also three months because it still might be very warm, but I can also put, you know, tights under it or a jacket and make it warmer. But it's a little romper with little polka dots. It's like a denim romper. Cuts off probably at their thigh. But the back is super cute. We got these little ruffles, a cute little tie. And so 
I think this will be super cute on her and hopefully it doesn't get too cold too fast and she can actually get quite a lot of use out of it. The next thing I got is the only pair of pajamas that I got that I bought because my friend gave me a lot for her younger months. But I went ahead and got just this little sleeper. It's got little suns on it. I think it's super cute. And it does have the little grips on the feet. And this is for size 12 month, but it does look a little big. But something we've always not had with Isaac is jackets and pajamas. And so I'm trying to be better about that with both of them. The next thing I got is also three months. So hopefully, again, it's not as cold. It's a little romper. Same thing. It's got a little bow in the front, buttons down the back, and it's just this like pastel striped pattern, but I think it's absolutely adorable. And then the last thing I got is another outfit set for winter, which Isaac had a very similar one, but this is like the girl version, so I think it's super cute. I actually might get him. He still fits his and hopefully he still fits it when because it's still a little big on him and I don't know I think it'd be super cute for them to match so I might have to buy him the bigger one but Isaac does have this in the blueprint but it's just a little jacket with the little ears a little pink jacket nothing fancy the pants are the same material but with the little bear on the butt with the ears and then just a little onesie with bunnies and clouds on it but that's all I've purchased for her so far clothes wise um, we still have quite a few things we need to buy for her just you know normal things a bassinet I still need to get a new diaper pail the double stroller I still need to get but as far as like other things swing bouncers bottles I have all that left over from Isaac so I don't need to purchase a lot of big things and I also know that, you know, family is buying clothes for her and stuff, so I don't want to go overboard until I really sit down and know what she needs. And when she's here and I see how fast she's growing. So, and hopefully this pandemic is over soon and I can have my baby shower, but if not, that's fine too. But that's going to be it for today's video. But I will see y'all in the next video here in a couple days on Friday. But that's going to be it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see y'all in the next one.